Hi guys, welcome to the MCQs from the Board of Studies portal. I am Siyadu Chalota. We are doing chapter number 5. This is all about how the businesses are changing. 20 years ago, if I have to go to vegetable uh, market to purchase something, obviously I required cash. Then around 10 years ago, things became a bit better. There are some malls that had like, you know, you have uh, Godrej and all these companies who started to set up their shops in many malls. If you ever went there, I didn't go there, but you could pay by credit card also. Today, when you go to buy 10 rupees ka dhaniya also, if it costs 10 rupees, might be costing more. You can pay by UPI also, correct? How it has changed? Entire world wants to be learning from India that how did we come out with UPI? Across the entire world, MasterCard and Visa were two most famous kind of the payment systems. And how India with the UPI system disrupted this entire market. So businesses are changing. Innovation is whatever will keep you all through. AI will be taking over many, many, many things in future. You have to be aware of that, that whatever you are doing, can it be done by AI in a better way? If yes, then your jobs are in danger. And we always start to be thinking, it will not come so fast in India. Everything comes in India super fast. In China, there are the robo taxis which are there, which don't have a driver. In US also, they are there if you will be going. I have traveled, so therefore I can vouch for it. So things are changing to a very big extent. And this chapter introduces us to two things in such context. Differentiate between transformation and disruption in the business context. Now, before I'll answer, if there are some students who wish to be enrolling for my complete course, see the link in the description and request everyone to join our Telegram channel and the Telegram group. Again, link is there in the description. So let's try to differentiate between transformation and disruption in the business context. Okay, there are four options. Now I am going to be reading these options after some time, not right now. But let me explain. What do you mean by disruption? And what do you mean by transformation? Now these are some words, some people use them in an interchangeable way, but they are different. Disruption is when an existing player faces a challenger that offers greater value to the customers in a way that existing firms cannot compete directly. Best example is in Mumbai. We all had these Kali Pili taxis. They were running across Mumbai to everywhere. Then suddenly Ola came, Uber came and things changed for a very long period of time. Everything changed, right? Today, Kali Pili taxis are almost facing like, you know, the biggest challenge of their life that they will not be able to compete. Their taxis are not good because they don't get enough money. So therefore, they cannot be servicing the taxis. Nobody wants to be sitting them, uh, be sitting in them because most of them will not have an AC. And is in, in a city like Mumbai, it becomes a bit difficult to survive without AC in a certain car. They are still running in Sobo, that is South Bombay, like in uh, pet name of South Bombay is Sobo. So over there it is still running because there were a lot of them and over there the people are quite rich and they are ready to be paying for the comfort because the moment you get down there will be a lot of taxis. It's like auto basically. Okay. But then they were replaced by Ola and Uber and how many great services Ola Uber came with that Kali Pili taxis could not have come because that was an unorganized sector. Ola and Uber started to organize the sector and I don't think so days are very far away when Ola and Uber will become a very normal thing across the entire country. Like in Goa still, as on today, uh, Ola and Uber are not allowed because the trade unions have told that we do not want that because their bargaining power comes to an end. I hope you all understand that. But how long will all these things to continue? Like, you know, I think in future, wherever uh, people travel by, say, water through ship up and so on. In, in uh, Mumbai also, you can go from here to Alibag via ship. Even I think over there also, like, you know, small boats which are owned by uh, Ola and Uber will start to be coming. Those days might not be very far away. We are still tired to be thinking, sir, this will not happen, sir. You are only saying, might happen. Okay. We didn't think that even uh, Ola and Uber will come. 
So this is disruption when an existing player faces a challenger who offers a greater value such that existing firms cannot compete directly. Existing all the Kali Pili taxis cannot compete directly. Then what do you mean by transformation? As the word suggests, the business is getting transformed completely. Like, you know, in this case, okay, you are still traveling by car only. You are still traveling by car, but we are offering a greater value. Okay. But in case of the transformation, the base only shifts due to the innovation, the way that you do the things, your core products only change. Transformation occurs when an innovation shifts the basis of competition in the industry. As I said in my introduction, best example of transformation is our UPI might be slightly inspired by cryptocurrency to be very honest. Okay. But it became a running success. Every person today has a UPI. Those people who don't have, we try to criticize them. Ke zamane ke andar jita hai. Okay, all those things are okay. But otherwise, this is something that it is a homegrown product of India and it changed everything. Okay, from being a cash oriented uh, economy, now we are UPI to oriented economy because of an kind of an innovation. Today, we don't carry cash. There are so many times when I start to be thinking like, you know, I'm not carrying the cash. I want to drink tea. It costs 12 rupees outside the studio where I'm shooting this. I don't have my wallet. Now, in the earlier days, obviously, I required the wallet. Okay, I required my money because I have to pay him 10 or 12 rupees. But today I have my phone. I try to be thinking, ha, huh, that's more than enough. And the shopkeepers are very shana, like, you know, earlier it was very difficult for them to increase the price of the tea from 10 to 12 because they had to give the change. Now they all do understand that everybody has a UPI. They can increase the price to 12.5 or to 13 rupees also. It is not a problem because in any case it is a digital exchange. Okay. So this is your transformation. I hope you could get the difference between both of them. Now, as far as the answer goes, I'm going to be now reading my four options and we'll try to be saying the correct one. Transformation occurs when... A challenger offers greater value to the customers. No, that is disruption. Okay. So first one, in any case, I'm ignoring because that first sentence is only wrong. Second, transformation involves challenging existing industry players, while disruption requires realignment of technological and business models. This might be true to some extent, but I think these words are slightly uh, incorrect. Transformation involves challenging existing industry players by whom it is not given okay like in transformation basically the way industry operates only change so i don't understand what is meant by that line as such involves challenging existing players it involves okay like even disruption will require that okay we will ch challenge the existing players because of the new technology up and so on. i'll come back to the Part second, if I don't find out the correct answer. Okay. Uh, part third, transformation is driven by innovation, shifting the basis of competition, necessitating realignment or new investment. Okay. This line makes good sense to me. Transformation is always driven by innovation only. While disruption occurs when a challenger offers superior value, superior value that existing firms cannot directly compete with. I think this is whatever we have spoken in the last two screens also okay third one makes maximum sense to me till now i am not getting like you know in point number two what is meant by this term transformation involves challenging existing industry players that means new players cannot be coming but new players can be coming also like you know like when ptm came then only disrupted the market no okay so might not be correct okay so second i'll try to discard off now Fourth one, transformation and disruption are interchangeable terms referring to the same context. No, no, they are different concepts. We just uh, explained that thing. So I guess third one is going to be making maximum sense for me over here that I try to put my bet on. So third one, yeah. So third one is correct over here. That's it. Uh, job is done for today. ICA has given some explanation which you all can go through by pausing the video over here. Okay. Uh, I put my content with great honesty, okay, and I don't try to hurry up the things because that is not what I want to communicate to anybody. If you are too much in a hurry in life, okay, and you just want to be watching something, so therefore you are satisfied that you have watched, this is not the right channel for you. 
if you want to be learning the concepts you want to be enjoying the practical examples that i give then this is a channel for you okay because i don't have to teach this paper only for passing i have to be teaching so therefore like you know business interest you because that is my interest second that your paper 6 if any questions come in relation to this you should be able to answer so therefore i have to do a proper justice to everybody that is whatever is my intention this qr code will take you to a playlist that has every possible question play every day something physical that will help you in life talk with your friends that'll help you read newspapers that will make you wiser chat about your friends with the current affairs that are happening okay might be about say modi ji only but do those things apart from only talking about films and all those particular things see films also once in a week it is required live a complete life you will be far more successful and you will have far a peaceful life you will not regret that my life is becoming bad because i am doing ca the moment that feeling comes believe me you will not do good in ca also take care i'll see you all next time bye